cook. My ma's bucatini recipe. I don't know, thought I'd give it a try. She back in Empire Bay? No, she, uh, she passed a while ago. You got any folks back there? Take a look at that paper. Some city councilman's up for re-election. I need a favor. Who is he? You tired of Marcano? This fuck. Him and his pals killed a friend of mine. Look, he'd see me coming from a mile away. Oh, yeah, because I'm so inconspicuous. You know how to get to people. It's taken me 12 years and a lot of money to find this cocksucker. I'd make it worth your while. And I'd consider it a personal favor. I'll think about it. If you're having trouble finding him, look for somebody on the street might be willing to give him up. When you're done, come back here. You got a lot more names need to be X'd out. First motherfucker I want you to hit is Lucky. He gets the name on account of he ain't got none. Luck, that is. But it don't stop him from playing cards any chance he can get. You ought to be able to rough up some assholes out there who'll give him up pretty easily. Guy's a real prick. No one can stand him. Hey, you've been throwing me territory. I'm starting to think you're sweet on me. You're gonna tell me where I can find the councilman. Lucky's supposed to be playing cards here. We're done here. Doesn't mean I want any guns in it. Mm. <clears throat> I keep saying them riverboats shouldn't even be underwater. Pretty death traps. Please don't let them see me. Goodness. This one's dead. What the hell was that? What? Huh? Just 
Another one, boy. Ah! With me ain't small, pal. Huh? Get to the ass. Fuck you. What can I do for you, Lincoln? Thanks for taking care of that thing. I might have another job for you later. Next up is Nesta the Molester. To be fair, I don't know that he's actually molested anyone, but with a name like Nesta, I'm pretty certain he has. Anyway, he deals smut to the peep shows. Talk to the right perverts and one of them will know Nesta. Ah, who's got time for trains in the shit factory? Fuck Barkley. You seen him? Oh, fuck! Where can I find that fucker Nesta? Nesta's supposed to fix some of the booths here. You work for me now.
seen something. Still stomping ass out there, Lincoln. Good job taking out that last fucker on my list for me. Starting with luck, he may turn out to be a fucking gold mine for us. The bastards are coming out of the woodwork to pay their respects to the fucking scumbag. But the only one I give a fuck about is Paulie. If I had it my way, that motherfucker would die nice and slow, blubbering for his mother as I take him apart limb by fucking limb. Oh, mommy, mommy, why is the bad man hurting me? Uh... You get the picture. Make him hurt, Lincoln. Real bad. If that fat fuck Uncle Lou could keep the ward running, it should be a piece of cake. Why is he skulking around like that? That boy looks awful sneaky.
you've got a problem, please get help. Most of you know this already, but me and Lucky went way back. Come up to get him. Guess he's gone. Him. Get some odd jobs for Leo Glenny. Then wound up down here. Lucky started mm, getting soft the last few years. Once he started running. Campfire hiding the heaven. <laughs> Damn, if he didn't stomp some serious ass back in the day. We gonna find the fucking nigga who did this love. Find him and gut him. Like a motherfucking catfish. I promise you that. Yeah, we do this for Lucky. Mm -hmm. Now, long and run. What's going on, Link? You scratched another piece of shit off my list. Thanks. So? So you can cross another name off your list. He suffer? Not really big on prolonging the inevitable. Now, if you wanted this handled like Greco, I could have brought him back here. Greco was a whole other thing. Call it heat at a moment. But your friend must have been something else if it took all these guys to bring him down. A couple of those cocksuckers sold him out. Fucked him when he went to them looking for help. And they all ended up down here. Commission gives Sal extra leeway on how he runs things. In exchange, he takes who they send him. Makes him part of his organization. I guess wherever you find assholes, you find pieces of shit. Present company excluded. Present company excluded. The next asshole is this paranoid fuck Luca. Unfortunately, he's gone into hiding. The dipshit's got some crazy theory that someone's out to kill him. Can't imagine where he got that idea. <laughs> you put the fear of God into somebody who wants to deal with those entitled pricks in Frisco anyway.
How you doing? Where can I find Luca? All I know is Luca's hiding out in his some warehouse. I might need you. Stay close. Get behind him! I swear I heard something. Who's here?
What can I do? Christ in a sidecar, there's a lot here. Just one more name on my list. Let me know when you handled it. So while Luca was a paranoid pussy, Dario was playing a Mr. Tough Guy act. Motherfucker actually called me up and told me where he's gonna be. You believe that shit? What a stupid prick. He's holed up with a bunch of loyal dumb fucks. Go knock the dust off him. <laughs> Go see what we're dealing with. All right, all right, I'm going. Stay behind me, boys! I got that some bitch.
I handled the last of that problem for you. Oh. Shit. So it's really fucking over. God damn it. You all right? Yeah, yeah. It's just, uh... Means Joe's really dead. Good friend of mine. It's more like family. Me and him tried to do something big for this motherfucker named Leo Galante. Big shot with the commission. Anyways, it all went south and we got fucked. That's what you get for following orders, right? It was a couple of years that I didn't know if Joe was alive or what. When did you know? Maybe four or five years after I got sent down here. I still had a little pull back home. I kept some feelers out. And when word comes back, one of the guys I saw drive off with Joe's running his mouth. Can't hold his liquor. And someone heard him going on about some loudmouth Leo wanted him to put down. Yeah, that same loudmouth cost this guy his front teeth and cracked one of his eye sockets. Sounds like Joe didn't make it easy for him. You're goddamn right. Ain't no one taking Joe Barbaro down without a fight. <sighs> Joe managed to get loose. Was on the run for a while, went to Chicago, thinking a couple of guys up there would help him. Instead, they turned on him. Anyways, in the end, it went how it went. Beat the shit out of him, caught his fucking hands off. Smashed his face all to hell. When it was over, they didn't leave much for anybody to find. You sure it was Joe? If it wasn't him. If Joe was still alive, he would have found me by now. I feel like we really did right by Joe, taking down those fucks on my list. Thanks, Lincoln.